Hi everyone and welcome to Technical Talks. Today we are going to discuss a very controversial topic. We are going to take up Linux, Mac and Windows. The topic was suggested by Anurag Srivastava and I'm expecting a lot of people making a chaos comments out there so supporting some of them uh, will be supporting Windows, Mac but actually this is not a movie about pros and cons of Windows or Linux or Mac this is moreover a topic about which one is perfect for your need so let's discuss that okay so I'm not gonna go into the path where we start a fight and say hey Mac is better hey Linux is better hey Windows is better let's not go into that way instead let's try to find out which one is good for us now there is no harm in Windows or Linux or Mac actually all of them are pretty good but it depends what you want to do and at what point you want to reach is going to be dependent heavily on which one you buy at the very first stage. And I'm expecting you as a beginner, not a professional out there. And again, if you're a professional, then also it depends on what you want to do. Let's start with that. So let's say uh, you want to start with the coding and that will be a light front end or back end coding, nothing else much on that. Then feel free to just explore anything out there. You can start with the Linux if you're comfortable with that. If you can uh, just want to be a simplified platform, then Mac is a good and simplified platform. But again, a little bit overpriced. And uh, you can also choose Windows too. I have used Windows for over six or seven years around and I have pretty much enjoyed it because it's a very easy platform for a beginners. And in fact, whether you hate it or like it, you might have used it once in a lifetime. So I was doing my front-end and back-end coding, nothing much onto that. Of course, I was playing games as well. But again, this was a pretty light usage. And why did I switch on to Mac? Because I was producing videos, recording a lot of lectures out there. And the Windows machines are actually not comfortable with these video stuffs or editings or photoshops or some stuff like that. Because it produces lots of heat. Also, it, the fans in the windows are always and always too noisy and that was the reason I need to switch on to a Mac because it was performing very high on the videos as well as a little comfortable platform as compared to windows. But that was my case. So again, your case might be you might be a very beginner out there and you just want to get started with that. If you have a budget, I would say go for a Mac because it's simpler, it's easier, less, dist uh, less distractive and things like that and if you're on a little bit tight budget don't want to go into the Mac but again if you are just intuitive about the Mac hey whether I'll be able to work on it or not just go and buy it eventually you will learn there is a learning curve but anyways we can just learn it it's it's a matter of fact and if you have a little tight budget I would say go for Windows but if you're planning to do something on Photoshop Illustrator or maybe video production, video editing or some heavy usage like that then again don't go for windows because the machines are gonna heat quite a lot and then are gonna perform a little bit slower you might upgrade to 16 GB of RAM or something a very uh, fast processor but again heating is always gonna be issue if it doesn't bother to you go for that you can just buy it and again if you are in a very tight budget, you want to just start with a, let's say, 1 GB of RAM, that would be enough for your day-to-day -day life purpose. You might be writing just front-end codes and that's completely okay. So in that case, you can go with the Linux as well. Again, there is a very steep learning curve in the Linux. You need to get friendly with that. But once you get friendly with the Linux, there is no operating system on this planet on which you cannot work. So make sure that Linux is a good skill. Now let's come on to the skill part on uh, 1 to 10 what I will be rating on the skill that you require. On 1 to 10 I'll rate 11 for the Linux because definitely you're gonna face a lot of problem especially in the wireless area. Your card might not be supporting, your uh, external USB might not be getting supported and all of these things. Although the issue has been resolved in the latest Ubuntu and Fedora issues but still there are some machines with us which are still uh, incompatible with that. So on scale 1 to 10 I'll rate it 11. On the Windows, I would say that I will rate it around 6 to 7 or somewhat like that if you are just starting out with that. So Windows is kind of a 6 to 7. There is a learning curve. It's always there, but uh, it's easy. And compared to the Mac, I consider this as 5. Some of you might not get agree with that, but okay, that's completely okay. And I think that I have used both. And if I would have uh, got started with the Mac, it would be much more easier for me. Because there is no installation process, things are simpler and it's just one menu bar at the top for everything. It's a less simpler as compared to the Windows. Okay, 
Uh, that's all about the Linux, Mac and Windows. So don't just feel shy that, hey, I have a budget, I need to get a shiny machine, Mac. No, compare what you need to do, what requirement you do have. Let's say you are a hardcore game player of Call of Duty. So buying a Mac is not at all a good idea for you. You might definitely want to get onto Alienware or some workstation heavy machines out there for uh, playing the latest Call of Duty with some good graphic cards, of course. And if you say that I want to work heavily on the videos or write some good codes, I want a very clean platform, money is not an issue, then go for that. In case you want to just try out with that Mac Mini, Mac Mini is a good option if you would just want to try out with that. Again, if you had a very tight budget, I would say spend some time on dozens of tutorials on the internet and try to learn out the Linux. It's going to be a very friendly machine, uh, not a power hungry machine, not a RAM hungry machine, but of course there is a learning curve. Okay, so this was a great topic, great discussion. I'm expecting you to please uh, contribute a little bit by commenting down, sharing the videos with your fellow mates who can get benefit from these videos. Okay, with that, please don't forget to suggest the next topic that we need to discuss. Don't forget to like, share the video and for, for also uh, subscribe to my channel. I really like and I really enjoy to read each and every comment out there. See you out there.